Jeff, uh, while we've got you, finally, uh, outlook, if you will, briefly uh, for both uh, gold and oil over the next 12 months and price targets. Well, let's, let's start with oil. Uh, we think the market overshot to the downside in time, terms of trying to price in this Iranian deal. Um, we stick to our target of $80 a barrel. Several reasons why. Um, one is when we look at the Iranian deal, let's remember that this is a framework for reimposing the JCPOA. It's not a lifting of the sanctions. We don't think the sanctions will be lifted until um, October of this year, at which point we expect to see production begin to rise. Second point, when we look at demand, Demand is very strong in the developed markets. We have mobility increasing significantly, offsetting any kind of weakness we see in the emerging markets, particularly in India. I want to point out with India, um, hey, the cases have quit rising. So even the outlook there has in, improved tremendously. And also there's a lot of increase in jet traffic, both in um, the U.S. as well as in Europe. Finally, on supply, there's, you know, rig counts went up four. They're at 356 in the U.S., that's, you know, not even at the break even point before decline rates set in. So no investment, lots of demand in this Iranian supply is going to be coming on in fourth quarter, which is why we think the market's a buy today. Quickly on, on gold, we like to say gold is a hedge against bad inflation, like the stagflation kind that people were worried about a few weeks ago. Um, oil and other commodities, cyclical commodities, are a hedge against good inflation, the kind that demand is pushing along or pulling along, use the macro term. Um, and when we think about gold, we do want to be long gold um, in terms of thinking about that decline in real interest rates we were just talking about. Uh, but we just don't think it has the, the same kind of upside that you would get. Um, if we had more of that bad inflation, which we don't think is going to be persistent. It was a, more of a one-off in terms of hitting, you know, bottlenecks and, you know, things like construction. But at the bottom line, we see gold going back up to 2,000 an ounce. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.